Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Grimm, a designer and publisher of Adult Coloring Books. Today I'm going to show you a program I just cannot live without. This has made my line art so much smoother, so much easier, and I just don't even know how I functioned without this. It's really improved the quality of my work and the speed. Now I am a customer, I did not design this program, I took no part in creating it. I'm just going to show you some techniques that I found very useful in creating smooth, fairly balanced weight line art, something dynamic. You want to have smooth lines, but you want them to have different weights and a feel and taper off at the ends, and this program does that and more. This is Lazy Nizumi Pro. Right here I have the trial version open. It works exactly the same as if you purchased a license and they let you try this free for 30 days, no account. Give it a shot. It really does make work a lot faster. So here's a coloring page that I am currently working on. I am going to show you how to do a pattern using Lazy Nizumi. Now what this is, is it is a Photoshop line stabilizer. For some of you, if you're familiar with Paint Tool Psy, you'll really appreciate the line stabilizer. It makes your line smooth. Right now I have connected lines open. As you can see, that does make a lot of things faster. Let's change that over to something free-handed. Smoothing, massive. Now there's different ways of doing it. Moving average just follows your motions. can make incredibly smooth things extremely quickly using this method. We also have pulled string, and you can set the length of the string. We can make a really long string, and when you press harder, you'll get thicker lines. It works very well with tablet pin sensitivity. and back to moving average. And you can play with this. It seems very overwhelming when you first open it. There's a lot of different options, and I'm not going to go over all these today. I'm just going to show you something very simple. So let's get started. Here I have my line art and my background layer. I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer. Let's call this one Guide. Just keep it organized. And let's add a little triangular pattern to our jug over here. So, I'm going to make a guideline and use that guide to keep our triangular pattern even. So right here, I'm going to change this from smoothing and massive, this is our drawing, and let's change this to constraint, a concentric eclipse. As you can see, we have a circular pattern over here. There it is. And you can adjust this however you want it to be. You just hold down a couple keys, in this case numlock, and you can s just turn it however you want to. It has guidelines. There's really a flexibility here. Even if you don't really know how to use the measurement tools, you don't need to know. You can see it plainly on the screen. And I have a lot of fun with this. There's a lot of different patterns you can make just with circles. And you can, if you're using a tablet, it's just so easy to pick this up, move it around, and do whatever you want to do with it. Fish scales right on the fly. Just rotate it, it keeps the angle. You can keep working amazingly quick and just make perfect lines with this. So for this, we're just going to make a guideline. So I'm going to take the opacity and lower it down a bit. And I want my line to be very thin, so that way I'll get nice sharp edges when I use the guide. If you have a really thick line, you don't really know where to stop. If you have a really small line, it's a lot easier to use the guide. Look how fast that is. Where do I want it? How about it's right about here? Looks good. So I'm going to draw a real thin guide. And now for the fun part. Here's going to be my line art layer. I'm going to 
pull up lazy and zoom, you can minimize it, get it out of the way, and it still works the same. And here's an off and on switch. When you're tired of using it or you just need to use the selection tool or the eraser, you can just flip it on and off. It's very simple. We're going to take this and turn it to connected lines. You can also use radial lines. If you need to get something, say, a little bit curved, you can just hold down shift and get your curved lines that way. But when you use connected lines, that is the best for anything polygon related. It just makes it go so much faster. And as soon as I figured out how to do that, oh god, my work just sped up so much. So that is why I definitely want to share this with you. Click. And if you press shift, it'll change points back and forth to wherever you want to start it. And it might look a little complicated right at first, but it's almost like a second nature. You remember how it felt to get used to using the tablet for the first time? It felt a little awkward, and then once you did it, it just came so naturally. Well, that's what it's like with Lazy and Izumi. It seems very overwhelming. Oh, I didn't get the line weight quite right. Remember, the, the pressure sensitivity is still active with your pen, which is a good thing. It lets you get all of these dynamic lines. These might not look extremely perfect, but for the speed that we're going at. I'm not going to fix them at the moment. And you can just tap to change locations too. But it does feel a lot like learning the tablet for the first time. After you do it, you just don't know what you're going to do without it again. You can't go back to using the mouse, that's for sure. And this does work with whatever brush you want to set with it and it has a lot of different settings to change the shape and dynamics of how you use the brush so you can get all kinds of interesting patterns right on the fly. And before this probably would have taken me half an hour to get everything just straight and right the way I want it. But those days are over. Huh. How about right there? Oh, perfect. And now I can hide my guide layer and well it's something. There we are. Now I have my triangular pattern. You get the concept. This pattern may not look perfect, but it does what it's supposed to do. If I get tired of it, I can just go back and do it again anyway. That was my quick tutorial, and I hope that you saw something that you liked out of it. Before I leave you today, I'm going to show you some of the other features very quickly. We're going to go back to the free drawing, which is smoothing, massive, exponential moving average, and we're going to check this box right here called distortion scripting. And you can do so much with this. It's just amazing what you can do. There's sawtooth. Let's go down some of my favorites. If you like shapes and you don't feel like drawing shapes, you can do a lot with these. There's so many different options to set. And it will just draw it for you. If you're doing like a background or something quick, it's very helpful to aid to have. I have a favorite, it's the Ellipse Weaver. And let's just make that go a little faster. I don't want to sit here all day. Zoom! Lazy Nizumi Pro. Something you have to try. Again, absolutely free. I did end up buying a license. I am completely happy and I will probably end up buying it again. Just, it's that good. You really need to try this program. It is the only program I've ever additionally bought for Photoshop. And it is the best line stabilizer plugin I've ever found for Photoshop in general. Almost the only line stabilizer. It is used by Disney. Blizzard, some of the big name corporations, you do use this product, and I highly recommend it. Go out, try it, tell me what you think below.